It's not just your ovaries that we're celebrating. Congratulations, Friday is International Women's Day. As a woman, you must be so pleased to be recognized, in this day and age, when everything is so polarizing, it's really hard for progressive, multinational corporations like ours to know just when and how to take a stand. But this day is important to us. And while some might say that coming out in support of International Women's Day is a bold move, even a controversial one, we are willing to stick our necks out to show solidarity with half of the world's population. As some of the world's biggest companies, we are doing many things to honor you on this day. First, please take a sticker from our bank. Wearing this sticker is a great way to show that you are a woman, or support people who are women. It's unacceptable that American women make 80.5 cents for every dollar earned by men, and this gender pay gap is particularly wide in the international finance industry, where some banks pay women up to 44% less on average. Wearing a sticker while walking around our bank is a great way to remind people, for free, that women in our industry should be paid more by someone. Have you checked out what our male engineers have been up to on the internet? Did you notice our doodle? Just for one day, the two O's in our logo have been transformed into ovaries to honor your contribution to the world. We love you and your empowered ovaries. Women in Japan, Germany and Taiwan, we particularly honor ovaries, and would love to support you in using them even more to help offset why our declining populations. Not that we're saying that's your fault. It's not just your ovaries that we're celebrating. We also love your strength, you can do anything. As paper towel makers, we're outraged that we've long used a muscular man to market to women, the main purchasers of our product. For one whole month, we are switching the muscular man in our paper towel commercials to inspiring, equally strong, but still delicate, feminine-looking, women. We are also pleased to release a special lip kit in the colors of International Women's Day. At first glance, you might think that purple, white and green are makeup colors appropriate only for Halloween. But with your $39.99 purchase, you will reclaim the term, witch, which for too long has been used to vilify assertive women. Tag us on social media, hashtag grab your broomsticks, and tell your girlfriends how much you love your purchase. Girls are our future, or at least half of it. In recognition of this, we have commissioned a series of children's dolls in the likenesses of empowering female leaders. You can collect Amelia Earhart, the famous pilot with the tiny waist, and Frida Kahlo, even though we're not sure unibrows are a good role model for young girls. For next year's celebration, we're already thinking about selling a Georgia O'Keeffe doll. Georgia painted women's vaginas as flowers, which is pretty much the most international Women's Day thing ever. In a similar vein, outside our headquarters we are installing a statue of a girl looking to the sky and the boundless future that awaits her. Inside, the women are still talking about the discrimination lawsuit we settled after an analysis found our female employees were underpaid. But look at our statue. Remember, there is no glass ceiling when you're standing outside. Finally, we've taken our famous, the beloved symbol of our high-quality fast food chain, and flipped it upside down, transforming it into an assertive, empowered what, you think burgers are fattening and unhealthy? Who do you think ran those, studies? It was men, studying other men. Ladies, don't let any man tell you that you don't deserve a burger now and then. Of course, as fun as all this Women's Day stuff is, we'll be flipping our logo back to normal tomorrow. We love women, but the is just a bit more powerful and dynamic, don't you think? Jessica Powell, at Themoco, is the former head of communications for Google and the author of The Big Disruption, a totally fictional but essentially true Silicon Valley story. Oh, my God.